<laughs> Let's skate through Ireland. Lovely. So much for the intro. Now well, let me introduce myself. Hi. Name's Note. I'm a German dude. Not that anyone asked, uh, but I've been skateboarding for more or less 20 years. Uh, naturally, the times devoted to creatively hurt yourself had to come to an end at some point. Since then, I've been using this little plank of wood to cruise through the countryside and eventually through entire countries as well. Which got me thinking in early summer of 2018. Why not skate through Ireland next? Ireland. Known for its rugged landscape, loads of green meadows with sheep on them, charming old-timey houses and cities, and proper crappy roads through the hinterlands. You know, Ireland. Next to a droll yet stylish cruise vehicle, for this sort of adventure you only need to strap on a backpack, a tent and a sleeping bag, plus a map where it says, um, UK here, and our region of interest, the Republic of Ireland, right there. We're gonna jump into a plane that takes us to Dublin, where we jump into a train that's gonna take us to a town called Sligo. And from there it's round about 500 kilometers to the so-called Dingle Peninsula. Still, the route has to be made up on a daily basis. So let's get going. As usual, let's jump on the board and see what we find. Well, what we find first is a heartbreaking statue commemorating the hardships of the Great Famine in the 1850s, when millions died and tens of thousands fled, most notably to America. The next we find is a parking lot that sports a movable curb and flat rail. This means there are skateboarders here, and that means I feel right at home. What's so special about Sligo anyhow? I mean the old houses are nice, but not that special. Tell you what, Sligo was the summer refuge and is now the final resting place of a poet named W.B. Yeats. He lived from the 1860s till 1939. He won his Nobel Prize for Literature in 1923 and he is by many Irish considered to be the quintessential Irish poet. As custom for romantic poets, Yeats was also helplessly in love with a woman who wouldn't return his feelings, even after seven or eight proposals. She went by the name of Maud Gonne. That's her. Yet there's another woman we shouldn't skip, Countess Markiewicz. She took part in the 1916 Easter Rising, a revolution to end the English rule. Together with the Yeats and a bunch of other intellectuals, she was a key figure for creating and forming an independent Republic of Ireland. All right, I believe a few pints are in order. Let's start fresh in the morning for a mild warm-up run. Uh, wakey wakey. We're gonna go skate today, so let's hope the weather is nice. Ah, perfect. I'm heading to a village called Enniskrone. The bus takes me a bit outside of Sligo and drops me off in total no man's land. From here it's around 20 kilometers to go. So let's warm up to the new surroundings and um, push forward.
All right. Um, changing plans. Let's get dinner, forget the tent, and let's look for a cheap guest room. And here we go. Soaked, but happy, in Anis Krohn. What's next?